hapon mga kababayan, kayo po ay nanonood ng kauna-unahan at kaisa-isang pang-araw-araw na produksyon para sa ating mga kababayan dito sa Amerika. This is Janelle Sawyer, kababayan in Los Angeles, coming to you from Southern California. All over Southern California on LA18, alas 4 na po tayo ng hapon sa Southern California. But also joining us from Kiku, sa ating pong mga kababayan sa Hawaii, aloha to all of you. You can now watch us on Kiku every day, Monday to Friday at 3.30 p.m. sa Kiku Channel. This afternoon on the show, we're going to be talking about reading. We have Filipino-American authors who are going to be telling their stories to us. But then at the same time, you know, um, it's so busy these days. We all live hectic lives, or at least we claim to live hectic lives. Do people really sit down and read a book? Do they take the time to sit down and read a book? Much more, write a book. And that's what some of our Cabo Bayans did. We're going to be meeting them right about now on the show. Uh, Giovanni, hello and welcome to Cabo Bayan today. How are you? The last time you were here, it's still Cabo Bayan. In LA. Yeah. Now yeah. we change the name because now we're, we are being broadcast in Hawaii. Hello to all of you. So yeah, bye. Aloha. And one of yours, guys, you were raised in Hawaii, right? Born and raised. See? See? Yagyagan. Hello and welcome to Kababayan today. Thank you, Janelle. Abatiin mo naman yung mga Kababayan natin from Hawaii. Where were you uh, born and raised there? Wailua and Haleiwa, the north shore of Oahu. What's it like to live in Hawaii? It was beautiful. It was just the ocean, the breeze, the air. Smell of the flowers, the cultures, all the mixture of the cultures. Do you think your environment was the thing that inspired you to write poetry, to write haikus? Mm. It was. Uh, you know, growing up there from the elementary school days, we learned to write haikus back then. So, you know, um, I think that you know, doing this book really uh, brought all the memories back. Let's talk about haiku first for people who are not very familiar. It's a, it's a Japanese poetry. What is the distinct characteristic of a haiku? Yes, uh, haikus generally they have 17 syllables in the haikus. And uh, in America, we usually break it down with three lines. So each line, the first line would be five syllables, second line seven, and then the third line five syllables. And generally, you'll have uh, one of the lines talk about nature. Mm, okay, not one, not all. No. This one? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it just you have to, it, it flows. So you know, it, you have to really think about what you write and it flows you know for me when I write my haikus and I, I have it about nature uh -huh. I also tie it in with love right because poetry is is a language of love right Gio correct poetry? yes yes you definitely. also write poetry or more short stories well I started out um, as a poet mm -hmm. my undergrad was in in poetry mm -hmm. English lit focused on poetry but then you know as a writer you kind of delve into other things and uh, with this with this with this book, it was kind of kind of going out of the box, going out of my comfort zone. So I decided to write short stories. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on Thank your you. book, Gio. The first time that he was here, I had him on because he was an actor. He was acting in a play. And then I guess I had him on the second time because he was singing at a concert. And then I had him on because he <laughs> wrote Carlos a Wilson. play. Yeah. Yeah, right, 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 right. And then I had him on because he was producing. <laughs> Is there anything? And now he's here as an author, mga kababai. What a talented guy. Is there anything you cannot do? <laughs> Baseball. Ah, that's it. I've Baseball, uh, you know, golf. I don't know how to play golf. Uh, it's okay because we can't do baseball or golf here in the studio. It's, it's tiny. <laughs> but, you know, we have a kitchen set here. Maybe next time you can cook. I can cook. cook. My goodness. <laughs> That's, can you cook too? I can cook too. So we can cook, and while the, fo the food simmers, then you can recite to us your, your poetry. That's perfect. Tell us about writing a book. You know, I opened with this. Do people really have time to sit down and read a book? They do. They just don't think so. With our today, the way you know things are, it's such a fast-paced uh, society. I think that we all think we don't have enough time to do anything. Mm -hmm. But what I found in doing the books, it's, I just slowed my whole life down, mm -hmm. and I just said, I'm doing it. After 25 years of wanting to do it, I just decided to do two it. Two books. You have two books, two right? Books. Tell us about those two books. Uh, so the first is called Haikus for Life: uh, Live, Love, and Laugh with, with Passion, mm -hmm. and the second one is called The Divine Mercy: An Amazing Journey. Mm -hmm. And they're all haikus. No, actually, the Divine Mercy is more spiritual. Spiritual. Yeah. When you read um, haiku, how do you read it? Is it because when we read books, okay, it's an, if it, when we read a narrative, it, we start to finish, from start to finish. When you yeah. read haikus, what is the best way to write it? And when you read it, you know, it's, it's, it's 17 syllables, so it's easy to finish. It's, yeah. Do you read it over and over? Do you chew on the words? Do you relish it? Yeah, I think like like that relish. I think it's like when you you drink a glass of wine and you're trying to savor that wine. You don't like beer. <laughs> For no. us guys, we just guzzle the beer, right? right. But with wine, you, you just kind of smell it. You, you know, you sip it, and and so same with haiku. The same thing. If I see a flower, for example, uh -huh. you know, and I say that's beautiful, and I see the colors and how it blows in the wind, 
um, and the, ro the words just come to me. Right. And then I'll read it, and then I'll read it a few times. I'll think about what it means, and I think about the emotional impact of it. Right. And um, so, so much flow. thought into 17 syllables. Gio, yeah. um, what's more diff What's the most difficult thing? Um, is it, is it, how is writing compared to being an actor, singing, writing a play, or producing a play? Well, I think the thing about writing is, you know, we have a job as, um, as to, like, fossilize mm -hmm. society and history. We're, in a sense, historians also, you know. Um, now, the difference I feel with poetry and with haiku is um, poetry is about the metaphor and the images. It's right. a very sensorial thing. And it's subject to interpretation, too. Right, right. right. Okay. As opposed to, like, um, the written word or a novel, uh -huh. you know, they, they would talk about how the flower was planted. Or right. Or very specific. Right. But with poetry, it's sensorial. It's, it's the smell. It's the taste. It's that visceral feeling right. that you get. But I want you to hold on to that thought because you wrote short stories. This is a compilation of short yes. stories, right, um, yes. Gio? And when we return on the show, uh, we're going to have Gio and another couple by an author. And we'll talk about that. Like When you write short stories and when you write stories, do you have not just a plot mm. in your head, you also have to have characters. And how do you build characters? We're going to be talking about that when we return on the show. Don't go away.